Hey guys, welcome back to Your Florida Electrician. I'm noticing a lot of searches for how to wire a light switch. Simple light switch with a couple lights. Um, the lights that we're going to be wiring, we're going to put outlets in the ceiling because this is a garage. And we're going to put outlets there and the lights are going to be hung like shop lights. And we're going to plug the lights directly into the outlets. So let's see how we started this. I got some wires pulled already. So you see I have some of these wires marked already. I have a nail-on box because this is considered new construction. One of these is marked HR. That means home run. This wire is going all the way back to the electrical panel. It's up there along the truss going all the way back to the new construction electrical panel. I have one marked SL. That's uh, standard. We, we put switch leg. That's what that means. That's the one that's going to go to our light box. And I have another one here that is going to another light that's going to be tied hot. Floodlight outside is not going to be switched. So this one is for powering a floodlight outside that's going to be tied hot, but I want it on the light circuit. So let me show you how to wire this. Wires are here. Home run will be tied into the electrical panel onto a breaker. Um, this home run could be also coming from an outlet. If you wanted to pull power from an outlet below, it'd be the same thing. You'd still call it your home run. That's coming into this box. But normally a home run is going right to an electrical box somewhere. Okay, let's see how to wire this. Um, like I said, these are marked here, HR, SL, switch leg. And this one I didn't mark. I know this one's going to be power. Um, sometimes what I try to do is I'll try to mark the box up here because I'm going to pull this insulation off. Okay, so if you can see inside the electrical box, oop, angle that a little bit better. Okay, you can see this is the outermost one coming into here from this side. This is the next one in. This one's marked SL. So on the top of the box over the SL, I'm going to write SL. My switch leg over the HR, I'm going to write HR in marker. Okay, I got the marker. And this one, I'm just going to put uh, power, put P. So I know that that one here, that needs to be tied to power hot. Okay. All right, now let's see how to wire this thing. So I use my dikes. To go to the back of the box, we want to cut off the installation only. Bring them all the way to the back as far as you can. I put a little pressure on the dikes. Not too much. I don't want to cut through the wire. I just want to cut the insulation. I really score it. That's all. So there's a little <laughs> look on the insulation. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, there's a little nick on the insulation right up in there. It's really hard to see. Anyway, so I just squeeze it a little bit, and then usually this will come right off. That's what I want. I just want the insulation to come off. I don't, it doesn't nick the wires if you don't squeeze it too hard. It takes a little while to get used to. Squeeze a little bit, start a little bit, and then it comes right off. I want to get to the wiring. Don't want the insulation. Okay. These ground wires, the bare grounds, all have paper. Take the paper off on all of them. Sometimes a little tricky getting the paper off. Okay, paper off, paper off. This box is a little bit overfilled. I believe I have 18 cubic inches in here, but when you add up 12 wire plus a device, it ends up to about 20, 20.5 20 or something like that. So with the device, it's a little bit overfilled. So the, normally wiring 14 wire, this is 12 wire. Um, it takes up a little bit more box fill. All right, so don't worry about what these wires are yet. Okay, we got them up in the air. Don't worry, just get those out of the way. Take your grounds. Okay, pull them, cross your, cross your grounds together, pull them tight towards you. And wrap them around each other, okay, till they come out of the box about an inch or so. You see that? They're all twisted together, nice and tight. Take the longest one, keep it, keep the longest one. Cut the other two. 
with your dikes. Okay, so we got one long ground. Okay, take a green wire nut. Let's see, a green wire nut. I like the green wire nut because it has a hole in it. Okay, there's a hole, you can see right through it. Take this wire, run the green wire nut right over that. And then get those other two wires that you just cut. Start twisting that wire nut. The ground has to be mechanically bonded together. Okay, there's some other machines out there, um, like Boschman tool, I believe. You can use that, but that's more towards commercial. This is fine. Okay, all right, you see, you got a green uh, wire nut on there. These other grounds are mechanically bonded. We want to push this into the back of the box because it takes up a lot of room. Okay, let's push the ground into the back of the box. Sorry if I keep hitting the camera, moving it around too much. Okay, move that like that. All right, what's what here? What's going on? Now I forget what's what. The reason why I wrote on top of the box, what's what, so I know what's what because I took the insulation off. Keep, the, keep them together. Keep your hot and neutral together on that one. Don't get them mixed up. Look where they go. Look all the way to the back of the box. Make sure you get them where they need to go. For a switch, take all the blacks out of the way. Put them up. For a switch, get all the blacks out of the way. Neutrals need to be tied hot in the back of the box. Most switches, a standard switch, don't need a neutral unless it is a smart switch. But a standard switch doesn't need to be, uh, doesn't need the neutral. So we need to tie all these neutrals together so everything works. Leave a little bit hanging out of the box. Cut them off even. Okay, and then strip a little bit. Or three quarters of an inch to an inch, most likely three quarter. Okay, take your wire strippers. Okay, there's a notch. There's a notch in here that is for 12 solid. That's the wire we're using. Strip those back. And then we need a wire nut. You can use a yellow, most likely, or use one of these gray ones. It is um, like a red one. Red one's good for this too. But you can use this one. Try to line your, try to line those wires up to the end. Push them so they're lined up. You don't need to twist them. Okay. Slide the wire nut on and start twisting the wire nut. Hold the wires. The act of doing this will twist the wires together. It says right on the bag of wire nuts, you do not need to pre-twist the wires. Push this in the back of the box. Okay, because you need room for the switch. Okay, so we have our ground sticking out. We have the neutrals inside. We have two wire nuts in there, ground wire nut and our neutral wire nut. Okay, we need to separate the switch leg. That's the one that's going to go up to our light, our light box. We don't want to do anything with that one at the moment. This one's the switch leg. I marked it on top. Switch leg. Put that up. Take these two. Okay. Take those two, cut them even. These is power in, home run, and power going up to the light that we're going to tie hot, the light outside. Cut them even. Save, save a piece of this. Okay. Strip the insulation off both of these. Take that wire. Strip the insulation off of that. Same thing, get these three, get these three lined up. Put your wire nut on. Don't twist it. You don't need to twist it ahead of time. Get these nice and tight. You're not gonna know when it's done, and you're just gonna know the wires are gonna start, the wires back here are gonna start twisting. Okay? This one also needs to go in the back of the box. Make some room back there because you still have to get a switch back there. Okay. So now you have your power wire sticking out, your ground wire sticking out, and your switch leg sticking out. This one's a lot longer than the other one. I didn't trim that one yet. It's much longer. See it? Let's get these to be about the same size. Boom. Now I don't know which one's which. Doesn't much matter. Strip your insulation back the same. 
Okay. Now you can put your needle nose, take your needle nose if you have some, put a little twist on these wires, a little curl. That's going to go around your termination screws. And you can also do that with your ground. I think my ground's actually a little bit too long. I don't need it that long. Okay, cut it, twist it. See that? Okay. Okay, so here's your switch, just the toggle switch. Ground's on your left. The two hots are on the right. Put your uninsulated wire, which is your ground wire, around the green screw. Pinch it with your needle nose so it's nice and tight. See that? It's such a better connection like this. Okay, and then of course we need to tighten that connection. Believe it or not, a nice wide flat screwdriver will get that nice and tight. They can be torqued as well, but very few people have a torque screwdriver. Okay, and then it doesn't matter which one, if this is my power and this one's my switch leg or if this one's my switch leg and this one's my power it doesn't matter just connect one to the bottom and one to the top you're just going to be passing power through the switch doesn't matter which direction it goes okay put your wires through there on there around in a clockwise position so if you put the wires around in clockwise position, it'll tend to tighten. The wires against the terminal, when you tighten the termination and versus, it's, it'll tend to loosen it. So put your wires twisted clockwise, the clockwise direction. Tighten your terminals. Okay. Push your wires in as you you have to bend them or whatever. Push your ground in, most importantly, because you don't want it to you don't want to short out and hit the hot side. Push the ground in out of the way, so that's not going to be a problem. Push this back, make it easier on yourself if you're going to use a manual screwdriver. How oh, dare my brother use the screw gun? <laughs> He's borrowing it. Oop. Okay, <clears throat> switch part is done. Now what about the outlet? Okay, you remember that switch leg that was in here, right? We had home run, uh, switch leg, home run, power to another light that's going to be tied hot, okay? Switch leg going up, coming over here, crossing on top of that truss, going into here. Now, if you want to do multiple lights, 
it'd be the same thing. You'd use a round light box, but we're going to put outlets in here and control the light by plugging it in and then switching that switch down there, okay? So both of these wires, one's coming in as power, the other one is going out over to that other light box over there. Okay, so that's how you do multiple light boxes. You just jump one after the other after the other, okay? All right, just gonna screw this in. My wires are pushed in. Go. So this will be switched. The light would be plugged into it. And the other outlet would be done exactly the same way. So that would make two switched lights. So now we have that switched outlet, switched over there. And the other wire coming out is going to that other one. We're gonna do the same thing over there, put another outlet in there. We'll put a cover plate on it and off we go. We're gonna test it later, we'll add it to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to your Florida Electrician. I'm noticing in my, ah, 